Hi everyone, welcome back to Paul UK Reefer. So today we're gonna to do something a bit different. We're gonna frag the Duncan Coral. So this is my first time fragging. Uh, I've watched a million videos on it and seen it live, but never actually done it. So this could be a complete disaster, but I'm very prepared. So um, the Duncan Coral, I'm gonna put a video on in a second, uh, just cause the tanks sort of lights are off at the minute, but I'll put a video on of it when it's in full flow. Um, and basically it's getting really close to my SPS corals. It's growing really quickly. I kind of got it as a one headed frag. Um, 12 months ago and it's now got multiple heads whilst I love it I don't want it to take over the tank so I'm gonna frag it down and just show you now a bit of the equipment we're gonna use and how we're gonna do it I'll then put you into a video showing you it in full bloom and then into one with a bit of music on whilst the fragging goes ahead because obviously the uh, drill might be quite loud and irritating so um, we'll finish the video at the end with what the final frags look like and then maybe once they've settled in for a day and uh, hopefully revive themselves and uh, what they look like in the tank. So that's the plan anyway. So let's go through a bit of equipment. Gonna be messy. So let's get some, um, an old towel and some kitchen roll. Um, basically gonna be using these max spec bio frags, which I've been soaking overnight. You don't really need to do it overnight, a few hours. The idea behind that is that you want uh, them to be completely engulfed in water. Cause when you put glue on them, if, you, if they're dry, uh, air bubbles will appear in the glue. So that's a pro tip. Um, for sticking the frags to the max spec, we've got some Ecotech coral glue. Um, there's loads of different super glues out there. Loads of people use um, different ones. That one's a specific one for for coral. So I like to use that. There, there's the bag of the Nanotech bio plugs. The idea is that they kind of end up active with uh, bacteria on them too to help the frag, but whether you believe that or not, I'm not sure. A few empty pots, we're gonna have some water to receive the the main colony and the frags to keep putting them in and out of there whilst I'm working on it. We're then gonna have an iodine based dip, which is the Seachem, I think, reef dip. That's an iodine disinfectant type dip. So once the frags have been cut and stuck, they'll go straight into there very quickly, just have a quick dip. Then they'll go into um, a kind of rinsing station at the end. They'll then go onto the frag rack and into the tank and hide them behind the rockscape at the back. There's enough space for light to hit the frags and for them not to be seen from the front of the display, which is important for me. Um, when we set the frags on the frag plug with the glue, we're gonna use this uh, turkey baster type thing to keep a bit of water on the frags to keep them alive, but also to activate the glue. So once you put the glue on, give it a little dash of salt water as another tip and it will kind of get the glue starting to, to set really quickly. Um, then we've also got some putty for putting the mother colony back in the tank. I don't really know how many frags I'm gonna take off or what the final product's gonna look like. It doesn't really bother me if I end up with a single head again in the tank. So I like growing it, I like the way it looks and I'm not too fussed. So we'll see how we go and see how easy it is to frag or whether I make a right a mess of it. <laughs> uh, the frag racks are from Polyp Pros. They're like um, sort of inverted so that they look up to the, the light. I quite like the design, they're fluorescent um, and they're available online, they're pretty good. Uh, safety, very important. Set of goggles, you're not gonna look sexy in these, but um, all sorts of stuff can shoot up, especially if you're using a drill to, to cut corals. Um, and gloves, of course, because if you've got any cuts on your hand, you don't want any of the, the, the stuff from the corals getting inside it. Uh, to cut, we've got our trusty um, cutters that you use, on, you can frag most SPS with a set of these bone cutters, um, as long as they're good quality stainless steel ones. Um, they're, they're really good but as i'm doing lps today and duncan's they've got a harder skeleton which you don't want to crush so we're going to use the dremel with a diamond tipped blade on that which is an ultra thin 38 mil one so it should cut a nice line in between so that's the tools um hope you enjoy it and uh let's hope we get some decent frags out of it speak soon
Okay, so that went largely okay. Um, one of them shot across the table at one point, I'm sure you noticed. Um, but we've kind of decided on five frags. One of them to the right there is the bigger colony, which will probably go back in. Although I've decided to just put the wall on frag racks for now. So they settle in and rest in. And then we've got three other multiple headed frags. So we'll put them in, let them rest, and I'll come back and show you what they look like and, and uh, see how many of them are flourishing after a day or so back in the tank. So guys, just to follow up and finish off, here are the frags settling in on the very next day. Uh, all the polyps are out and um, yeah, they all look healthy. So I'm gonna let them settle for a, a week or two. Uh, sorry about the stuff in the tank, I've just fed it. But yeah, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, comment, ask questions and uh, give me some advice if you think I did something wrong. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching.